guys. How are you doing today? It is Joel, your boy Joel. Mix it up reactions with a special guest host. This is Dub, aka Do You Bang Beats? That's me. <laughs> I love when you do it, man. It <laughs> makes me laugh. Do you bang beats? Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, a request by one of our subscribers. And I have yet to realize, should I say the name of the subscriber yet? I don't know. You know what? Let's shout them out, man. Shout them out. You got Sometime. Find one. Well, <sighs> next episode. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my hey, phone. You know who you are. It's currently recording. You know, but, who, uh, you know who you are. We'll let you know that we put up the video for you. But uh, she, uh, she made this request. He made this request. I don't know who made it because I can't tell from names half the time. You know, it's yeah. something like Martian Splackaberg. You know, you, you don't know. Anyways, uh, but this is Aesthetic Perfection, Gods and Gold. So we're going to check it out. It looks interesting enough. So let's see what we got here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification uh, to make sure you get the newest videos that are coming out. Uh, super D-Duper. Let's watch it. Ding. It's already interesting, I'll say that. Ooh. It's very cyberpunkish. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Manson. Ooh. Okay. I like that. They got some poppy stuff in there. This dude can do every type of vocal. Yeah. Screen. Okay, I really like this. Yes. <laughs> I will say the art direction is amazing too. Mm hmm. I love that triangle turning thing. That's actually very unique and new. Okay. 
I gotta watch other stuff this dude's done. Yeah. <laughs> or this person's done. I never know in this day and age, but. Dude. Yo, that, okay. that guy's got range. Yeah, okay. Man. One. One. As a web designer, I can tell you right now is that having a name, aesthetic, aesthetic, uh, essentially aesthetic perfection, there's a thing called commonality or common word placement when it comes to website design and things like that, when it comes to SEO, because it's what people are common to search. Aesthetic is not a word that people are common to use. Most of the time, it's a seventh grade education. Mm. That's really sad that that's true, but it's actually true. Most people's vocabulary, the average is seventh grade education. So aesthetic, not part of seventh grade education. Mm -hmm. But the fact that aesthetic perfection has, uh, let's see, premiered in 2019, 682,000 views on this video. Yeah. Now, aesthetic perfection seems to be the band, the group, probably the producer, the beat maker, things like that. But it says Gods and Gold featuring Richard Z. Cruz Bay, which I honestly want to check out Cruz Bay. Yeah. Because I think aesthetic perfection might be like a... Like a... Oh, what is it? Uh, they might be like when a... When they bring other singers on to sing songs that they create. What yeah. Is, uh, I'm trying to think of his kinda, name. Kind of like... um um um. Getta. Yeah. Or, or David, Calvin Harris. David Getta. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which it's almost like an album filled with like singles, you know? Yeah. So the producer comes out yeah. with the record and then he got different Timbaland singers. Timbaland does to do that things. too with a lot. Of, yeah. I plan on doing that soon. So, yeah. yeah. So I will have to look up Richard Cruzbe because that dude has that a, guy, that dude has range. Man, that last note. Skill. Yeah. Like that's all skill. That's That's a head voice. Out of this world. Because he, he, he had head voice, full chest. He had uh, vocal fry, falsetto. Yeah, he mixed all his passaggio together to make that work. Yeah. Ridiculous. And that, that's, that's, really that's really hard, hard to do, especially during a song. Now, if he's playing this live, it might be a little bit more difficult because depending on your skill set. Me, I sound great in a recording booth. Live, I sound controlled and crisp. Like, I never wanted to be the guy who would be half key. I never yeah. wanted to be that guy. I never wanted to lose my pitch. So I'd mostly, I'd rein in my writing sometimes. Because when I was younger and first started, mm-hmm. <laughs> I wrote some crazy stuff. And then we were having to play 45 minutes, an hour and a half, two hours. And I'm like, oh, oh. we're not doing that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'd write these crazy high notes coming after a very fast staccato type thing mm-hmm. and went into a full long breath type chorus and then do it with a crazy note. And I was like, yep. What the hell was I thinking? That's too much breath and not enough space. That's why you got to make sure you, uh, you run and do your stuff at the same that time. Was, that was the mo- plus, again, you're moving around on stage. Your adrenaline's pumping. You're running around, touching people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's why I ended up for the longest time, I would stand still mm-hmm. and have a mic cable or be connected to the stage somehow. Because, yeah, if I'd get too amped up and be doing too much stuff, be wore out very quickly. Yeah. It's even, not- even when I was young and had breath and, like, stamina, it still didn't last. Because that's sweaty on stage. It's adrenaline pumping, drains you quick. Yeah. You know who actually does that very well? Hmm. Usher. Yeah. If you ever see Usher live... I it think sounds, I think that dude trains, dude, hundred percent, hundred percent. I think to. he never stopped. I think he all because I remember seeing him. He hadn't put out an album in five years, and he came out playing this show out of nowhere, and then he played like seven songs in a row, mm-hmm. back to back to back to back to back, and there was movement constantly. Yeah, running and dancing and, and everything, like all that stuff. And I'm like, that's. You are 38. <laughs> and he and still sounds exactly like the record. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. So, Aesthetic Perfection. Man. Fantastic job. Great record. Love it. Uh, Richard Z. Cruspe. I don't know if you're the actual singer. I don't know. I, I bet that guy, I bet whenever he's not on stage, he's probably like laid back chilling. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. no. Because the, the one, the art direction of this video is badass. Yeah. Uh, because it plays to so many different levels. 
Yeah. I mean, like everything from man to woman to God to devil, like it everything. It dives into all that oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, even the attention span of people, like everything, dude, it's amazing. <laughs> like when the goat came in, it's like, it's yeah, like yeah. that one part, we like, all right, cool. <laughs> I done seen this over and over again. Whoa. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was no, only for a bleep. It was like, boom, here it is. Yeah. Mess your head up. Boom. All right, we're back. Just enough. Just enough. Well, uh, subscriber, I will send you a message telling you we're putting out this video. But yeah, I don't know if people want their name said. I don't know. I'm always on. I err on the caution of privacy just because I don't want to cease and desist or this video to be struck down because someone's like, hey, I didn't give him permission to use my name. But uh, yeah, that's true. This was for you, subscriber. Who knows who you are? You with the face. You know but, who uh, you are. You with the face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know their face. I know their name. That's all I know. The funny thing is, if you're ever in a crowded hallway and you shout out "you with the face," the person that you're talking to is actually going to turn around. <laughs> I've tested this theory. Hey, you with the face <laughs> on several occasions, <laughs> and I, it works. I'm so going to do that now. It works. Hey, you with the face. I'm right next to you. You don't have to yell. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will say there's this one comedy joke uh, that Tom Segura does, which oh, I love that dude. Tom Segura is funny. He makes me laugh my ass off. But he's like, just try this out. Now, don't don't people get offended. Just try this out. See in your strongest, loudest black guy voice who replies when you yell out, you know, he was like, just, just, it's, it's so much fun because if there's like just a bunch of white people around, there's one black guy and you go, Hey, <laughs> hey yo. and that guy will always reply. Up, dude? Like, <laughs> like he did it perfectly. He sounded just like I've heard on street corners all the time when I was yep. in New York, it was like, Hey, What's up, dude? Like, they will get a reply <laughs> half the time, you know? It's actually pretty ingenious. But, uh, yeah, dude, yeah. I really like that song. It's a great song, man. I really did. It's did, a great song. I didn't expect it because, I mean, it's something like aesthetic perfection. It's it's It seems like it's more, uh, it's going to be more like Prodigy where it's detailed. You know, it's specific people who will like this. But then watching it and listening to this, Really yeah, good. It can go anyway. It's multi level. Yeah. It was, had a lot of stuff. You know, it's harder, of course, people who don't listen like rock or heavy metal, they're still going well, like to like some what, of it. Yeah, that's where the pop por portion yeah. comes in. And so, Gods and Gold playlist. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, put that on. Yeah. Okay. Well, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you guys button. later. Have a good time. And uh, thank you to you, subscriber. Push the button. Ask for this. Okay, I'll push the button. <laughs>